Mark, I didn't shoot you. Your mind is violently vacillating between sense what? and nonsense. Oh Picture no. This, all right. Your brain. What happened? Hey, wake up. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. I'm Ralph, and this is Shamanda. Hey, you guys. Right now, we're at episode five of Moon Knight. This one's called Asylum, rightfully so. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> last episode, the personality split. Maybe they're dreaming. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't shoot you. Your mind is violently vacillating between sense what? and nonsense. Oh Picture no. This, all right? Your brain what happened? is a pendulum swinging between a very difficult reality that you are my patient here at Putnam Medical Facility in Chicago, Illinois, and a reassuring fantasy that you've created on your own, that you're some kind of, I don't know, superhero. Right? You're doing everything and everything possible not to look within. You're not really a doctor. Let's start with you. Let's try it your way. Retrace your steps. Tell me, tell me, how did you come to be here today? How did you get here? I took the bus, <laughs> like I always do. You want to know what you told me? How you got here? You told me that you were in a place that was oddly reminiscent of this office, except that it was in Egypt, right? And that you were with a... Uh, Rhinoceros, and you're right. I'm. You're right. It, it was a hippopotamus, <laughs> and it, was, it talked. This hippo could break down the walls between you and Stephen, and we might finally understand. Uh -oh. You were talking to me about a boy. Do you remember that boy? You think you could tell me about that little boy? Hey, thank you. I feel really great. <laughs> I mean. They must pay you a lot of money in, in this place. You know, You're really good. I'll tell you what, I feel like a million dollars. I'm trying to stab me. I want to see myself up. Thank you. Don't die! Oh, you're not! 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 you a really big your noodle, but I think you were just taking a little time out. Those ears. I'm afraid you actually quite I mean, dead. Twickling. I'm sorry, what? I'm dead? We're dead? Yes. It's been a minute since we've had a soul pass in here. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome, oh, oh, oh. gentle traveler, uh, travelers, to the realm of the Juat. Juat, the Egyptian underworld. This is Tawarit, goddess uh -huh. of women and children. And She's guiding us for our journey to the afterlife. <laughs> oh, okay. Because the Duarte's true nature is impossible for the human mind to comprehend. Uh -huh. I don't know what to do. My mouth just, just stays a little bit. As something more easily recognizable to you. Yeah. A psych ward's a first for me, but hey, we can roll with it, right? Um, why would we imagine this realm to be a psychiatric hospital? Because we're insane. Mm. Talking to Bob. Mm. Talking dead bird, you're outside of my body now. And now the afterlife, right? That's the monk. That's the reality monk. of this is the hospital. That's the Dr. Harrow's right. Dr. Harrow. See, Dr. Harrow. So like right through these doors, for example. We go through here, there's gonna monk. be a bunch of patients and there's crawly, probably about to yell. Settings are our route uh, to feel the breeze, right? How it is. Oh, Sam, he's the smart one, eh? Ah. If your heart's balanced in life, then you will spend eternity in paradise. Feel the breeze. If the scale's balanced by the time we end the journey, then a soul is permitted to pass into the field of reeds. Or if you don't balance, you get thrown overboard. <laughs> The dead will drag you down into the Jewat, where you will remain forever, mm. frozen in sand. 
no one battled souls on my boat. Then the rules. Fingers crossed for you guys, hey? What's it doing? What's it moving? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's chaos a among them. <laughs> Without balanced scales, do you want to eventually claim your soul? Get in there and show each other the truth. Balance your scales before we arrive at the field of reeds, or your souls will be destroyed. Wow. So how are we supposed to do this? Third, uh, mm -hmm. right. coffin. Yeah, for now. And knowing her, she'll go on a suicide yeah. mission to stop her or herself. Yeah. Well, that means we gotta hurry, doesn't it? Yeah. I am stuck. Because I don't know what's going on right yeah. now. Just a creepy cat filled with dead bodies. That's all it is. No prizes. Guessing whose room this is. Yours. Funny. Oh, wow. All the corpses of the people he died and killed. Guess so. Mark, why is there a child? This the third person? Filled with people Maybe. that he killed. What's your name there? Oh, hold on there. Wait a moment. Wait, wait a moment. No, don't chase the boy. Come on, no more citizens. Did they hit him purpose? Yeah, he separated him. Yeah. Open the door. Mom? That's what Dr. Harold was talking about. Mm. Let me talk to the bro let me talk to the little boy. Okay. Uh, maybe that's what he was talking about. I'll be rough it though. Can you get that, Dr. Graham? Okay, I couldn't do that I couldn't make it out. What it was. Lads! You have to get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> just the water rise, just throw something to me. Come on, now, see like all these doors just closing down. Yeah. State gets you discharged from the military. We didn't have a ton of options after that, so I went work for hire for my old CEO, Bushman. The job was to raid an Egyptian tomb. Mm. Bushman changed the plan, called for no witnesses, and I couldn't live with that. Is that That's Dr. 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 Fuzzy? Fuzzy. Famous dad. Mm -hmm. I tried to get them all away. But we didn't make it. Clearly. What happened to you? 
dad called me after all these years about her shiva, and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Let me out, 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 let me out. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Sorry, I've, I've, oh, I'm dreadfully sorry. I, I, you gave me a real start there. I gave you a bit of a wash, didn't I? Ah! Oh. Mm. Stephen, it's good to see you again. What is this? Is this some kind of test? Dr. Harrow, yeah? Is yeah. It? That's right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh-oh. Wow. Well, you've really gone up in the world, haven't you? Uh-oh. You're beginning to worry <laughs> we might never speak again. Oh. That's so strange, yeah? A little haircut. Uh oh. Little silly tash there. Excuse me. <laughs> it's very Ned Flanders. Ah. Stephen, what's the way up to now? I brought this here. Wow. After your mother passed. Oi, don't say that. That's not true. That's not true. Oh, I'm, I'm so. I must. Are you having a laugh as well? Because I no, don't want to hear it. Stephen, I must You be say mistaken. that again. My mother is alive. You I, say that again. I, I will I, freak I, out. I promise. I must be mistaken. Mum, hey, you all right? Yeah, um... Wow. Would you believe it? I am totally lost again. I don't know where I am. What, now I've seen you a Muppet? No, I know, I did it again. But, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking down the street. Um, kind of looks a bit like Mayfair. And I think, oh! Sorry, this is it. The mum's death and Shiva two months ago. This was the moment our lives started bleeding into I'm each other. We're walking. We're walking. All those horrible things that she said to you, she was wrong. It wasn't your fault. I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. I shouldn't have brought him in the cave. You were just a child. It wasn't your fault. What's happening? I've never seen the gates to the world above so close. How do we open it? I'm so sorry. Your scales never balanced. Our journey's come to an end. Mm. I, I cannot stop the inevitable. I was really rooting for you guys, but the unbalanced souls of the Juat now must claim yours. Oh, hey! Don't <laughs> look very friendly. Why they gotta have weapons, though? Yeah, you're right. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, these are the beautiful. And they made up a sand. Stop 
feels are balanced. Oh no, he had to get rid of them. Is this the last one? Okay, at least one more. It's the field of dreams, right? <laughs> and, and, and they will come. <laughs> Oscar Isaac acted his behind off, man. He is amazing. That is crazy. He is amazing. That is crazy. He's amazing. I was literally like in awe of him the whole time mm -hmm. as far as this particular episode because, I mean, well, in all the episodes, but for this one because he had, it's both, I mean, it's both of them. <laughs> He's acting amongst himself. Right, right. So I just think that's, I love it. I love it. I was about to say, yeah, the dynamics of the two, but <laughs> it's only one. But the personalities and this episode told me up. Really? <laughs> I know this, it did. This told me up. <laughs> For us to actually find out why there were two. Mm -hmm. And the little boy came from out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, and Mark was trying to tell Steven not to run after him and he was running after him and that, that whole thing was probably frustrating for you because you was like, why he keep running away from him? <laughs> um, but come to find out, I don't want to do a, a lot of talking. What? Did I say that? No, I um, <laughs> um, But come to find out that Mark created Steven to protect him. Mm -hmm. It was, he literally, literally, he literally created Steven um, to protect him from being abused from, by his mother. Mm -hmm. His mother blamed him for not protecting his brother mm -hmm. and his brother drowned and he didn't and from that point on she blamed him and she beat him and mm -hmm. she just abused him. She wouldn't even come to his birthday party. She wouldn't mm -hmm. acknowledge him but she would beat him and she drank a lot. She create He created Steven to make it seem as if his mother loved him mm -hmm. and none of that ever occurred so him going through the house and everything he was still trying to protect him split personality mm -hmm. still trying to protect him from the truth and even as protecting him from the truth when he found out he split again mm -hmm. listen here <laughs> i know they don't hand out awards in these uh Superhero, these oh. superhero shows and stuff like that, but Oscar Isaac, man, he, he act, got it. He acted his behind off, man. Hey, he got it on this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, crazy. He got it on this one. Oh man, crazy. That's all I can say. Um, but yeah, come to find out, you know, there's tomorrow uh, that the scales was unbalanced. Their souls would be given. To, I forget. I forget all the names and stuff that just she said. I knew I would. But, um. I think it started with Jara. Whatever. But in order for the scale, the scale didn't get balanced until Steven died. Which was which was crazy. But, can I jump in right quick? If y'all recall, uh, the episode where Alisa, Al Alisa, what's the girl's name? Layla. Layla. I done messed that all the way up. <laughs> Alisa. Layla. Told him to call upon the suit. Summon mm -hmm. the suit. That was the mm -hmm. that was the name of the episode. Summon the suit. And when he did, he hit the thing, that alien, and he didn't know where his strength came from. That's because that's the third one. The third one actually has strength. Okay. Because he well, this is what I'm this is what I'm taking well, out of it. If you ever see the third one, maybe it'll be the last episode. Well, I wouldn't say the third one. It was actually Steven, but he didn't know that he had the strength. Should I say it like that? Say it like that. Yeah, I should say it like that. Because when he, he said, wait a minute, I'm part of you. I got some of you in me. So. And he said that in this one too Yeah, much. Yeah, so it was like, boom. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Um, yeah, and that's when it started helping him out and beating up the people and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the the season finale should be should be weird. Uh, with no Steven around. Mm. Yeah. Um, we'll see how he gets out of this and 
breaks out Conchu and summons the suit again and Yeah, because Stephen was the brains. How they defeat Hero, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we we shall see. It's funny that he created somebody that had the brains, but he did not because mm-hmm. he created his character. Oh yeah, and then he created that character off of his uh mm-hmm. his idol. Right. But that was good. Yes, it was. So let's know what you guys thought of that one. And we'll see y'all next time. We love yep. y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, wake up. Thank you.